Hello and welcome back to your own channel, Indian Defence Analysis, where we bring to you the latest development happening in the defence sector. Airborne Early Warning Platforms are force multipliers. They are equipped with long-range radar and passive sensors capable of detecting air and surface contacts over large distances. Information collected by them can be transmitted directly from the aircraft to other users on land, at sea or in the air in near real time. These are called force multipliers for an air force because of their wide area coverage, longer range, which is generally more than 400 kilometers and higher endurance. The airborne early warning systems have capability to detect and track incoming fighters cruise missiles and drone much before ground-based radars. Indian Air Force is ranked third among the air forces as per WDMMA's Global Air Power Ranking of 2022 and IAF is ahead of PLA Air Force. It has total fleet of 1645 aircrafts, out of which 632 are fighter jets. Talking about early warning platforms, IF has three Netra AW and C developed on Embraer EMB-145 and three Falcon AW and C developed on Illusion IL-76 platform by Israel Aerospace. However, Pakistan operates seven Saab 2000 airborne early warning systems from Saab and four Chinese ZDK-03 Karkoram Eagle and it has a total of 395 fighter jets. Though these airborne platforms are much inferior to what IAF is operating, still they have numerical superiority. IAF would need a minimum of 15 to 20 AVAX aircraft to be able to tackle to front operations. Realizing the need of more such airborne early warning platforms, last year, Indian government has cleared a mega project of six new made in India airborne early warning and control aircraft AW and C worth rupees 11,000 crores. These AVAX will be built on the Airbus 320 aircraft to be provided by the state-owned Air India. The six AW and C will be the upgraded version of in-service Netra AW and C aircrafts. The platform to be used is existing aircraft provided by Air India, which negates the need to buy new aircraft. Air India was supposed to hand over the aircraft post the refitment from OEM, which is expected to be complete by now. The Center for Airborne Systems, CABS, will be in charge of developing six new AW and C for Indian Air Force, on which work has already started. Now, let's try to understand the capability of upcoming Netra Mark II AW and C of IAF. Netra Mark II is expected to provide more coverage than its predecessor. Netra M has a coverage of 240 degrees. The Mark II version is expected to have coverage between 270 degrees to 300 degrees. It will be equipped with a scaled-up variant of the ASA radar that was previously used on the Netra MK1. The scan range and tracking capabilities of the ASA radar bound for the Netra MK2 and will be more than that of Netra Mark 1. Since the A319 is a bigger aircraft than ERJ-145, Radar can be packed with more transmitter and receiver TR modules and more power can be derived from the bigger engines to meet additional power requirements of the scaled-up radar. The Netra Mark 2.0 is expected to have a range in excess of 500 km and will be able to detect less observable targets such as drones and stealth fighters. Netra 2.0 will incorporate SATCOM, data link, identification of friend and foe system, electronic countermeasure system, self-protection suit, chaff dispenser and dual auxiliary power unit. The main component of Netra is an ASA-based 
active antenna array unit AAU, which is its primary radar. It consists of two radiating planar arrays, assembled back to back and mounted on top of the fuselage. It will feature one of the most advanced IFF, which will be also integrated with the future fighter jets of India including Tapas, Tejas Mark II, AMCA and even MRSAM radar system. This aircraft will also feature wideband global SATCOM with secure communication under the line of sight or beyond line of sight conditions. As per the last tender document of DRDO, the ASA weather radar at the nose cone seems to have shifted at the top of fuselage at the visible blister. This should allow a much larger array and simplified looming. It is going to be derivative of indigenously developed Uttam ASA radar. A forward-looking infrared search and track IRST system can also be seen in the lower midsection of the fuselage. It can also be an advanced electro-optical targeting system, EOTS, type system. The sapphire window-like design seen suggests that it could be EOTS system similar to one in F-35 fighter jets. DRDO has started the fabrication process for the various components for Netra Mark II, which will be tested in Anusandhan, which is the test bed, followed by the developmental trials of the Airbus A320. The first flight trial of these AW and C aircraft is expected in four years and the entire project will be completed in seven years. Thanks for watching the video and supporting us. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.